coming down on the shipwreck. It's like being a ghost from the past. This is the USS Saratoga. She's a big ship, really big. 270 meters in length. That's almost 900 feet. The Saratoga is one of the more famous ships of World War II here in Bikini. Whoa, look at that. There's one of the Hell Diver airplanes that I've heard about. There's another one just a little bit further on as well. Both of these planes were chained to the deck at the time of the atomic explosion. When the bomb went off, a 29 metre tsunami, almost 100 feet, crashed over the Saratoga snapping the chains of the hell divers and flinging them into the ocean like toys. Not easy to get down here to see these planes, but what an experience. It's taking me down the bomb elevator. This elevator would have been used to bring bombs up onto the flight deck to be loaded into the plane. Apparently, we can access deep inside the shipwreck from here. Oh my god, wow, look at this. This is the last thing I expected to see down here. This is the deepest room. You can still see the chairs. You can see the basin. This, for me, is going to be one of the most scary places on this ship. And I'm not quite sure if it's because I don't like going to the deepest or because this ship is falling apart around me. The nuclear tests were to see what effect an atomic blast would have on a fully laden vessel. As part of the nuclear tests, she was laden with live ordnance, from munitions to torpedoes, bombs and depth charges. This was part of the greater test of this new weaponry. Ed, what are you doing, man? <laughs> oh, Ed tells me every time he comes down to the wreck, he likes to just touch it with his bare hands. That's why he only wears one glove, but I didn't realise he was going to touch one of the bombs. <laughs> This ship is just mesmerizing. Every which way you turn, there's just something incredible to see. 